Disclaimer. The subject matter has been produced using AI technology and can in no way be employed as fact. The AI works on articles and blogs, so it may only be deemed as what others believe, not necessarily the editor of this video. This video is in no way intended as fact or intended to cause undue stress, only for entertainment value. The disclaimer is produced by Tony of Tony's Music. Thank you. Abraham Lincoln was born in a log cabin in Kentucky in 1809. He grew up to become a lawyer and then became the 16th President of the United States, serving from 1861 to 1865. He freed the slaves and ended slavery in America. The United States is a country with a history that goes back thousands of years. The country has been around for more than 250 years and has had many leaders. In the beginning, there were Native Americans who lived in this area. Then, Europeans came to America and settled here. The settlers built homes and farms. They also learned how to make things out of metal and wood. This was because they had to use tools made out of these materials. When the United States was first formed, it was a country made up of 13 colonies. Each colony had its own government. Each colony had its own laws and rules. The people in each colony were independent of each other. There were no laws or rules that apply to all of them. After the 13 colonies joined together to form the United States, there was still a lot of fighting. At first, the people fought over whether the United States should be a democracy or a monarchy. The people wanted a democratic republic. However, when the people tried to change their government, they failed. Then, the people decided to have a constitution so that they could have a democratic republic. The constitution created a strong central government. The government was powerful enough to fight against the British Empire. In 1789, Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. It said that the 13 colonies were not part of the British Empire. They were independent countries. The colonists wanted to be free from England. The colonists fought for their freedom. When the colonists won their independence, they started the United States. At first, the United States was a country that was not very powerful. It was a poor country. The people were farmers. They had little money. They had no cities. They had no industry. The United States started to grow. The United States became a great power. The people of the United States were now rich. They had factories and industry. They had railroads and roads. They had large armies and a large navy. The United States was now a superpower. The United States was able to fight against many different countries. The United States was able to fight against France and Britain. The United States was able to help France in its war against the Germans. The United States was able to save the South from the North.
During World War II, the United States was able to help the Allies defeat Germany and Japan. The United States helped defeat Germany and Japan. The United States is one of the most powerful countries in the world. The United States is able to help other countries in their time of need. The United States is still a country with a rich history. The end.